Hello everyone, welcome to the video on um, flexural analysis. Today we'll be taking a look at a very useful software for engineering student and professional called AmdiSolid. AmdiSolid is a free to download engineering software used to solve and analyze problems in mechanic, static and strength material. It is a very easy to use and versatile piece of software which can run on Windows 10, 8, 7 and all the prior version of Windows and the link to download will be available in the description below. To demonstrate, we'll be solving a strength of material problem while using some of the module available here to assist us in our calculation. So um, the problem read, the steel beam has the cross-section uh, cross-sectional area shown uh, in this eye shape over here with this uh, dimension. If uh, W0, the maximum uh, value of the distributed load in the on the beam uh, is equal to 0 0.5 kip per feet determine the maximum bending stress in the beam uh, or in other words the maximum normal stress induced by uh, the moment to solve this problem using the flexure formula it is essential for us to know two things the maximum value of the moment on the beam and the second moment of inertia of the cross-sectional area of the beam to easily determine um, the maximum value of the moment on the beam, I'll be using this uh, determinant beam uh, module to plot the shear and moment diagram. Uh, to start, we must first select the type of support out of the three um, available type here. Uh, we, since our support is a pin and roller support, we will choose this one here. We'll then enter the length of the beam which is 24 it is in feet uh, the location of the pin and the roller is at either end of the uh, beam then the uh, location will be 0 and 24 click enter to proceed um, we can then start adding the apply force distributed load or couple moment to our beam and the software will plot the shear and moment diagram for us for example, to add the upward force of the of the magnitude 5 pound at the center of the beam, we must click this um, upper arrow icon, um, enter the location of the force in our case. Uh, in the center, it would be 12 feet from measure from the left side of the left end of the beam, and then we set our um, uh, magnitude to 5 pound, and then click enter and then we will get our um, uh, shear diagram as well as a uh, moment diagram uh, similarly a couple moment uh, distributed load can be added in the same way um, to remove what we have added uh, click on edit over here um, and then navigate to the component which we want to remove and then click delete um, back to our uh, problem here um uh we want to add a downward uh no um yeah a downward linearly increasing um distributed load that start from um where downward uh that start from zero to twelve feet zero to twelve feet over here uh the loading magnitude uh the magnitude of the load is from 0 to the uh, W0 which is 5 keep per, keep per feet keep per feet enter and then uh, we need to add the other side as well so um, downward distributed load from 12 feet to 24 feet the starting magnitude is 5 and the uh, ending magnitude is 0 keep per feet click enter and we simply will um, get our uh, shear and moment diagram for the problem from the moment diagram we can see that the maximum value of the moment occur at the center uh, of the beam and the magnitude uh, the maximum magnitude of the uh, moment is 240 kip feet. 
now we can click back or exit to go back to the main menu to obtain the other important component the second moment of inertia of the cross-sectional area of the beam uh, we can make use of this section property uh, module over here uh, this module allows you to design the cross-section um, of the beam and compute the essential information like cross-sectional area, location of centroid from the top or the bottom and the moment of inertia around the centroid uh, we can start by choosing one of the many available um, shape in here uh, for example the simple shape like rectangle box shape, circle, um, cylinder or pipe um, and general shape like the I shape, the C shape, the T shape, the uh, L shape, the Z shape or the reverse Z shape or uh, double shape like the double I shape, the double C shape or the double T shape etc. Uh, additionally, the module also um, features standardized shape um, for steel, aluminum, and um, structural lumber, which um, come with um, standardized dimension you can select from. Um, you can also use this uh, rotating tool to rotate the structure around uh, in this a a angle feature here. Um, for our problem on the other hand we will be using uh, the one of the flag shape over here the eye shape uh, and then we can enter the correct dimension so h h um, 0 0.3 0 0.3 and 10 make sure to set our uh, dimension to uh, to set our unit to the correct unit in this case inch and then we can click compute um, and now we can see that the centroid is in the center uh, which is uh, 5.3 inch from uh, both the top uh, or the bottom the area of the this the area of the cross section is uh, 7.8 inch square and the moment of inertia with respect to the z axis is 152.3440 into the power of 4 uh, with this we can now uh, we should be able to apply the flexure formula and manually compute the um, maximum bending stress within the beam without too much trouble here's the flexural formula we have the maximum um, normal stress equal to uh, minus mc over i um, is the um, uh, apply moment which we uh, determine to be uh, 240 kip feet uh, our uh, I the uh, moment of inertia which we just compute earlier is uh, 152.3440 in uh, to the power of 4 and C which is the perpendicular um, distance from the centroid to the furthest point in the beam. In this case, it is from the center to the top or to the bottom, which is uh, three uh, five point three inch. Uh, and computing this uh, into the formula and as well as um, converting uh, the unit to the correct one, we obtain that the absolute value of the maximum stress occur in the beam is uh, a hundred thousand a hundred ninety four point three. 37 psi however this process can also be uh, can also be done using um, this um, flexure mo module um, simply um, enter the maximum bending moment which uh, in this case um, 240 keep uh, keep feet and then uh, click this um, normal stress then uh, the graph which represent the distribution of the normal stress should appear along with the maximum value of it um, so in this case the uh, maximum uh, stress which we are trying to find uh, is a hundred thousand a hundred ninety four point two nine seven uh, psi which is uh, which might with our manual calculation earlier uh, with some uh, minor error so this is a uh, the 
answer to uh, of uh, the answer to our problem over here. Um, uh, you can also um, use this navigation tool um, to uh, determine the normal stress of uh, the beam along this uh, specific uh, Y and Z coordinate over here. Or alternatively, you can uh, use this drop-down tool to um, uh, find some uh, f to find the stress at the key uh, location. In this case, there are four key locations uh, over at this uh, Y coordinate, and here are the stress, uh, uh, the normal stress um, for each of those coordinates. Uh, it should be noted that um, this uh, program can um, handle a more complicated problem uh, than what is shown here such as um, unsymmetric uh, uh, bending moment as well as composite body uh, which is uh, which make this program ideal uh, an ideal assistant tool for more information on how to use uh, each module um, the MC solid was kind enough to provide us with a library of instruction over here at the MD solid help document which um, contain everything that um, you need to know about uh, the software in order to use uh, the module. Um, additionally, uh, the MD Solid also provide us uh, with um, the fun educational game as well as animated lesson over here at the animated learning tool uh, section uh, which you can try out for yourself. And with that, the video is coming to an end. Thank you for watching.